So welcome back to the film industry. I am Amber from the Amber Living Vlog and today I have your top film set terms that you should know. One of the first things you should probably should know before you step on set is the word call sheet. This is what a call sheet is. It's really long, it's pretty, it's, it's longer than an 8x10, like regular, um, I don't know, legal document size. This tells you everything you're going to do for the day, what actors are going to be used where, what scenes are going to be done, how long it should take, usually, lo locations, props used, and all of that jazz. The second most important term you probably should learn is the word brick. What a brick is, is a battery. It's a battery for everyone's walkie. They use walkies on set. It's a main form of communication. And a hot brick is what you should always have on you. You should have two or three of them. A hot brick is gonna be a fully charged, good battery for someone else to use for their walkie. When you are on set, you will be handed a walkie. Everyone needs a walkie, especially if you are a set PA. And something you need to learn how to say or learn how to understand is copy. Copy means someone tells you something, you say copy that. That means you understand what they just told you. This is more um, a phrase that you'll hear. And the phrase is, what is your 20? That just means, where the hell are you? And if someone's asking you that, you're probably not in the right spot or you're gonna be in trouble soon after they ask you where your 20 is. I'm trying to go in the order of importance or how often you'll hear them. Another term is gonna be 10-1. That means someone is in the bathroom and they are using it and they're um, indisposed right now and they are unable to work. So leave them alone, let them do their business. Someone that goes with 10-1 is the term honey wagon. Now honey wagon is your sets or your trailer's bathroom. It is a, a pretty much a portable, bathroom it's a little bit more luxurious than a porta potty kind of thing but a honey wagon is basically where your bathrooms are now the next term you're going to hear a lot from your key pa over the walkie and it says lock it up lock it up usually means whatever they told you to do do it at that moment because they're ready to shoot and they don't need any pedestrians in the shot so lock it up means make sure no one passes the perimeters that they set for that scene rolling is going to be your indication that the camera is rolling and the scene is starting so that means make everyone make everyone stop moving and be quiet because that is a moment that you do not want to ruin. The next term is really, really great to hear because that means we're moving on to the next scene that it's the director is okay with was shot, he loves it, so we're moving on to the next thing. And that is called checking the gate. That usually means they're going to check to make sure that that shot and that scene is good to go and they're satisfied with it and we can move on to the next. So as I said with lock it up, lock it up means setting the perimeters and making sure no one goes past. And those no ones are pedestrians or bogey. Some people like to say that word, some people don't. But a bogey is anyone that's not supposed to be or isn't part of the crew or the actors. Speaking of actors, now this is a term you'll always hear. And if you're working with first team, they'll say where is first team, is first team landed on set? Now, first team is going to be your actors that are in the scene. Second team, I'll put this with first team, second team are the stand-ins for the scene. The stand-ins are used to set up camera and lighting. Now, this is really tricky. Some people, it takes a while for them to understand what this means. Um, blocking. The blocking is pretty much when the director kind of goes over the scenes and goes over the movements of how the whole thing's gonna come together and everything's gonna move, like where an actor's gonna go in a certain scene. So when the blocking happens, usually everyone should be paying attention so everyone knows what's going on in the scene. So the blocking is really important before we start rehearsal and then start shooting. If you hear the phrase, first team has landed on set, landed just means it's arrived. Um, a lot of people use that, it's a simple way of saying it and it's very clear when you say it. Now this is a term that that everyone loves to hear and it's called the Abbey. The Abbey is the second to last shot before the end of the day. After that we call it the Martini. The Martini is the very last shot of the day and then after that is wrap. Wrap is when everyone's done and everyone can pack up and leave for the night. So that is a wrap for this episode of the film industry and I hope you learned a little bit about film terms and use on set.